Okay, guys, let's do this one last time. I'm pretty sure this is a bonus episode. I mean, this is pretty much the last episode of the next season, but who knows, right? Who knows? But pretty much uh, this this battle is a fucking headache. Like, are you fucking serious right now? Okay, first of all, let's go over the most bullshit thing over here, right? The most bullshit. Um, for those who don't know, this is the next death battle, right? Or the bonus episode, or whatever. So we have Excalibur from Warframe versus Raiden from Metal Gear. Yeah, Met for Metal Gear, right? Why is this a matchup? And who requested this? I don't think anybody requested this bullshit because this matchup is completely pointless. Now. I am there for the animation, okay? And I will get my thoughts off through this whole season at the end, right? But this is so fucking terrible. I can't, I can't even, look, 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 look. Um, so pretty much, like, if you don't know what Warframe is, it's pretty much like a video game. Like, um, I don't know, it's, I don't know how to, to describe uh, Warframe, but I do play it, right? So Excalibur is literally uh, like a um, a ten note, which is like a potent. It was she's more potent in gameplay and stealth, but excels in melee combat. Capable of channeling his energy through a pure through a sword of pure light that cuts through anything in his path. So. What the fuck does Raiden have against this? Like, I, honestly, what is Beth, Death Battle thinking here? Um, first of all, and foremost, like, let's just say, uh, he's comparable to the lights of Inaros, and he, he's able to, you know, I'm gonna put it up for you, but he's able to go to pretty much do this feat, right? This, <laughs> this feat right here, and. People really think Raiden has a chance. He's able. The, the dude's able to do this feat. I know, mean, like, uh, look. I don't know everything about Warframe, and I don't know everything. Uh, well, I did play Metal Gear Solid, so I so I know a little bit about it. I played it. From the things I played, Raiden has no fucking chance here. He doesn't. In fact. Any of his attacks doesn't do anything. He has electricity manipulation, but he has, uh, but fucking Excalibur has a resistance to this. In fact, every Techno has a resistance to this shit. Have y'all not played the game? And don't know if, not only that, if he even do like cuts him, they can regenerate. Are you fucking serious? Seriously? Can Randy can you even see invisible people? I don't think so. And don't let me get me don't get me started, bro. Don't don't get me started on his exile blade or exit. Yeah, exile. Fuck. I and mean, you know you know what I'm talking about. The blade. He, his main blade, right? Or what his main ability, or if you want to say, signature ability. So pretty much, right? His signature ability. He's can channel his energy into a sword capable of cutting through anything in his path, allowing offensive energies. That travels on long distances for fate. He can also use a lesser one, a, ra a radial, radial blind, which channels his, this ability. Now, for those who don't know, channeling is like a special technique all Tenno can are capable of, or your character can do. While ch you know, charging their additional energy through their Warframe, they can potentially double their attack potency with their melee attacks, in addition to making their opponents completely disintegrate on contact. So, are you serious? Like, look, dude, matter manipulation right there through the front through his attacks, matter manipulation. And not only that, but the blade itself, his signature ability, is phantom ways emitted by his blades that face through absolutely anything. 
objects, targets, even planes of existence bypassing conventional doorbells. Seriously. Raiden is getting fucked here. And I don't, I don't care what y'all say. Raiden is getting fucked. But since like people want to go, oh, what about, what about this? What about, are you serious people? Like, are you serious? Raiden has no fucking chance here. I mean, in terms of speed, they're kind of comparable, but not, kind of not, you know? Radiance is a little, just a little slower. Just a little bit. They're both relativistic. Or so, so relativistic, too, too relativistic, well, relativistic, but Warframe characters are relativistic. Plus, they literally they're able to dodge fucking energies of light. Like, they're able to dodge light or fight people that shoot the energies of light. And they can just react to this shit casually. Well, yeah, yeah, pretty casual. What's the best that Raiden has done? If you actually follow the feats of what Death Battle did, he's like town level, large town level. Like, from what they said, what they said, like large town level, uh, higher with Ripper mode, because you know, Ripper mode, he, he's, he's able to get bloodlusted. Like, come on. But still, that is not enough to face a character who's like small country. Arguably higher. Arguably. With his own special ability. This is so fucking one-sided, it's not even funny. I mean, it's like, wh what is up with this season, man? I don't know. It's like, what is up, bro? What is up? This season has been terrible with this matchups, but the animation is good, right? The animation is good. I will be there for the animation, but otherwise the matchups does not make any sense happen this season. It doesn't. I didn't even bother with the, uh, you know, Boba Fett versus Predator. That seemed boring. The only thing that was that excited me was uh, Sun Wukong versus Hercules. I still didn't react to that, but Pretty sure Sun Wukong won. Like, come on, Death Battle. You, it seems like y'all running out of ideas here. I don't, I don't know. It seems like y'all running out of matchups. So, I don't know. I'm just making up shit right now. I'm like, just making up shit. This is this is one sided. I'm sorry, this, but rating gets completely clapped here. And, uh, you know, it's, it, like, come on. There's nothing he can do. Like, rating has nothing he can do here. I mean, there's also, well, that's his, you know, his HF blades. Well, that's arguable. You know, he could disrupt atoms by creating quantum decoriases. De 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 I don't know what that means. On the Planck scale, shrinking their electron clouds. I don't know what that fucking means, but. I guess he can do that. And for those who don't know, for the H, the HF on blades are pretty much what is in a dumbed down version. It's pretty much electricity severs the bonds that keeps the targets atoms together. Now I think with this blade, it might do some, it might pull a little edge for on for right inside, but that's only if he's fast enough. And honestly, I don't think he's ever going to be touching uh, Excalibur, including since Excalibur can literally cut you down <laughs> through planes of existence. I'm pretty sure his blade is more potent than um, Raiden's. But yeah, thank, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hit, hit that notification button if you haven't yet already. Notification button, subscribe button, all that. And yeah, that's my prediction. I think um, Raiden Gratis is going to hit kick the bucket and Excalibur is going to win. Like, literally made to no diff like come on but yeah thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video peace